looks pretty shady it's really not worth the risk so all you can do when you're going cross country so here i am at devil's dyke and i'm flying today the advanced omega uls again with the weightless not a classic cross country day there are thermal forecast and there's potential for cross country but this as you look around you can see there's a lot of big clumpy clouds about and lots of spread out shutting off the sun over big areas it's going to be the kind of day where you're mincing half of the time trying to stay up and then when you get up you're probably trying to run away from the big clouds <laughs> we'll see Just seeing who's going up and down. The climb's feeling kind of rather surgy at the moment. There's kind of choppy and surgy bits, which could be just wind and shear. But also, when climb, when you first get the first, the top part of a climb, you can imagine the air swirling around quite a bit. So sometimes that first top bit of the climb be choppy as well. When you're higher up, you often get a better part of the climb. Exploring, on his explorer. You can see here really the clouds are a bit big and dark. Where we are the airspace goes up to five and a half thousand feet. Just to the east of us, it drops to four and a half. At the moment, we're only at two and a half, so we're quite far off that. So I'm glide, just letting the glider glide. around you, especially those climbing below you. I'm aware there are two sailplanes around here somewhere. I've got an instrument that's got far net on it, so hopefully they can see where I am. But I'm not going to rely on that. It's just an extra bit of safety. But what I would like to do is just put my wingtip on the edge of the cloud here, just for fun. <laughs> so what I've been getting now is just some buoyant air under that scrappy cloud. Definitely a climb here. Oh, it feels a bit better. So I'm going to explore around, but again, I've got all the shade forming up behind me. I'm still looking a bit better ahead. With that. Looks like it might shade in all around. Down to my right, got fell. Uh, down to my right, there's fell beacon behind me. And down here, this is Bo Peep in the shade, so probably can't see it so clearly. That's one of our flying sites, Bo Peep. You've seen a good few of our videos there. In front of me, I've got uh, down to my right is Alfriston. Ahead is Wilmington Hill. And here I'm using the basic th thermal wing technique of as the lift increases, I straighten up. As it decreases, I turn.
So all you can do when you're going cross country is really just look around and make your best educated guess. Or uneducated guess. Just make your best guess about where the best chance of getting lift is. Looks pretty shady. It's really not worth the risk. Good tip for you is when you're flying cross country is check out your landing area, make sure you know the way out because once you land it's hard to see. <laughs> 